In this demo, I'm going to uh, show off the new uh, plugin that will be available uh, with Pulp uh, Core 3.23. Uh, 3 um, and uh, it, this plugin is called Pulp Replica. It's available here on GitHub under the Pulp organization. Um, it will. It is currently using the Pulp CLI as a library, though the plan is to actually split up the Pulp CLI uh, package into two packages, one that's going to be used as a library by both this repository and the CLI itself, and also the uh, Ansible modules will start using that library. Uh, the nice thing about using the CLI to communicate uh, with a pulp is that it supports communication with multiple versions of pulp. So even though this plugin, Pulp Replica, will be available only on uh, instances of pulp that are running Pulp Core 3.23 and newer, um, it will be able to actually replicate content from older versions of pulp. And so to start us off, I've <clears throat> Uh, populated my main pulp with two repositories. One is a small file repo. It just has three ISO files in it. And then our zoo repo, that's the RPM content. Um, and so we have these repos uh, on <clears throat> inside a pulp that's running on port 8080. I have another pulp that I'm going to refer to as the replica pulp uh, running on port 5001, and it does not have any content in it right now. Um, so for this demo, I'm going to be using both uh, the pulp CLI and HTTP PI because the new API that I've added to uh, the pulp replica plugin, it does not have corresponding commands in the CLI yet, but it will definitely get those commands. Uh, soon. So as you can see, this is the CLI config. Um, the main pulp is running on port 8080. We have a username and password configured for it. And then we also have the replica pulp configured for the CLI to use on port 5001. Um, so let's run this little script that I wrote. Uh, we're going to start by uh, using HTTP PI to make a REST API call to the replica pulp and create an upstream server configuration. Uh, this configuration takes a base URL, an API route, um, which defaults to pulp, uh, but pulp does support rerouting it, so it is necessary to provide this setting. Um, you name this server, um, and this name needs to be unique. And then you can provide a username and a password or you can provide a client certificate and key. In this case, I'm using a username and password. Um, these are the same configs that you would be able to supply to the CLI. Um, so let's run this command. Uh, we run the command. Uh, we get a response saying that the configuration was created, that the username and password are set, and that we're going to be talking to a pulp which has an API of this URL. Next, we're going to uh, make a, another call to the REST API using HTTP PI. And this time, we're going to call the replicate endpoint on this server config. And that's going to kick off a task, which will actually kick off multiple tasks uh, itself, which will be part of a task group. So let's take a look at the status of this initial task. And the initial task is called replicate distributions. Um, and as you can see, there are some child tasks that were created. Um, in order to get uh, more details, we can look at the task group that was created uh, for all of these tasks. So let's make an API, uh, use the CLI to look at the task groups. The task group uh, is really nice to um, pull because it tells you how many tasks you have waiting, how many you have been skipped, how many are writing how many are completed, basically for all the states that are possible. And then you can also look at um, 
specific progress reports, which I have not added yet. Um, but you can also see the individual tasks that were um, kicked off. And so this is the initial task, the replicate distributions. But then we had a general create task for the distribution to be created, um, a synchronized task, another generate general create task, which was for the distribution to be created, and another synchronized task to actually synchronize the repository. And so after this completed, we can see that now our replica pulp port 5001 has the same file repository and the same RPM repository. And um, that's all for my demo.